We was on the bottom, yeah. Now we headed to the top, new level. On my level, don't see anybody. I don't see him. This right here could never stop. This could never stop. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. Hey, this right here could never stop. Hold up, nah, nah. One time, one time. Hey. I live on a job, right? Yeah, I'm always at work, right? Real people stay by me, right? Haters wanna do hurt, right? No, they trying to stop me, right? Drag my name through dirt, right? I don't feed into the hate, right? I just answer with a smirk, facts. I feel so special, facts. I know my worth, facts. My bloodline royal, facts. We the kings of the earth, right? You can't stop this, nah, nah. You can't stop this. What's your name? Alberto, right? What's going on, my brother? My name Malek, right? So what we going over with, with my brother Jawan, right, is God's commandments, the truth about the Bible. You believe in the Bible, right? You believe in God? I am pastor. You're a pastor, right? Yes. Hey, what's your name again? Alberto. Alberto. Watch this, right? Remember the question that I asked you about who are we praying to, right? Alberto, who is this right here? When you look at these images, who is this? Who they say this is right here? Right here, this guy right here. That's Jesus the Christ? You see that, right? So what we have been taught in this in America, we've been taught a lot of lies. Now this is a, a, a pastor, right? You teach the word of God, right? You got a congregation? So watch what the Bible say that what Jesus Christ looked like, right? Because believe it or not, Jesus Christ is not a white man. No blanco. Jesus Christos is no blanco. We're going to prove that according to the Bible. No. Watch this, right? Because a lot of times, bro, in these churches, right? The pastors are teaching our people. Right, right, right. Hold up. One second, though, right? One second, though, right? You got that? What? Watch this, right? Because we're reading out of the Holy Bible, right? You believe in God. You believe the words of God, right? Watch what the Bible say. Read what you got. Revelations, chapter 1 and verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ. Christ. The what? The revelation of Jesus Christ. What does it mean to reveal something, Jawan? Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let the word of God come out. Let the word of God come out, right? Watch what it says, because the Bible says it's going to reveal what Jesus Christ looked like, right? Read on. Verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The Bible says Christ had hair on his head and the hair on his face, white in color, woolly in texture, right? Which one of these images have woolly hair, uh, Alberto? Teach. What people on earth, Alberto? We going over the word of God right now. Yeah. I want you to be patient because what's coming out is the truth of this Bible. Yeah. And that's what's going on in our community, right? The Bible says Christ had white woolly hair. Read on. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Like what? Like wool. Jawan, what people on earth have woolly color hair? You know. Woolly texture hair. Who is us? The so-called blacks, but guess what? God don't call you black, Jawan. God call you an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. No. Right. Read on. As white as snow, and his eyes were as a flame of fire. Read on. And his feet. And his what? His feet. And his what? His feet. So John the Revelator looked down and seen Christ's feet, right? How did Christ's feet look? And his feet like unto fine brass. Like what? Like unto fine brass. Hey. Jawan, what color is brass? Let, let's, hear, let's hear you say it. Bring it out. Because you heard what the so-called pastor say, right? And these are the men that's teaching our people. We have been deceived, Jawan. So now we got to come out here. The Lord has put his spirit on men to bring out the truth of this Bible. We revealing out this Bible, Jesus Christ is not a white man. Right. His feet was like brass. So what color is that, Jawan? Read on. But not only was they brown, what else? Read on. As if they burned in a furnace. John said they look like what? As if they burned in a furnace. You see that, Jawan? Yes, sir. You, it don't get no planning in that. That's right. So you, we got to ask ourselves, Jawan. This man say he's a so-called pastor, and he haven't. He don't notice in the Bible somebody's been lying on God. Teach. Right. But guess what? But guess what? This is one of the major problems in our community, in our people's mind. That's why. 
when we look at another brother, we quick to gun him down. We quick to put hands on our brother. We quick to lay down with our sisters and not marry them because of white supremacy. We think that God and Christ is a so-called white man. And another thing what this has done to our people, we think God is something to play with. That's why we think we can go and smoke. You know what? I hear what, I hear what the Bible say, but I can't stop right now. We got to understand God is not playing with us, bro. God is a black man according to the Bible. Yes, right. Jesus Christ is a black man according to the Bible. A lot of our people don't know this. Let me get that in Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. The reason why we're bringing this out, Juwan, showing you the importance of why we got to stop breaking God's commandments. Because believe it or not, bro, you're looking at brothers that used to smoke every day, all day. So the question we got to ask ourselves, because one time I thought in my mind, bro, I'd never be able to put the weed down. But watch this, though. Watch this, though. But I'm going to show you the error in what you're saying right now. Because like I said before, a lot of us have this in our, in our mind. And we think the Lord is something to play with. Read what you got. Titus chapter 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. We, what? Read that again. We ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Brother Jawan, we weren't always on this side of the sign, bro. That's right. We was living that life as well. Smoking, you know what? I'm going to wait till tomorrow. I'm going to wait till next year. We can no longer move like that, bro. All you got to do is pay attention to what's going on in the earth. Right. We are in the last days, bro. We don't got time to play no more. Read on. Disobedient. We was what? Disobedient. We was also breaking God's commandments. You know what? I'm going to keep smoking. I'm going to keep firing up. I'm going to keep sleeping with this sister. And I know I'm not married to her. I know I'm not faithful to her. But guess what? I'm going to sleep with her anyway. Read on. Deceived. We was what? Deceived. We also thought at one time that this was Christ. But when we opened this Bible and read it, we found out that our Lord and Savior was a so-called black man. Guess what, Jawan? The same blood that Christ had running through his veins, guess what? They running through your veins. But we don't know how great we are. Right. Read on. Serving diverse lust. We was doing what? Serving diverse lust. You know what that thought is, what you got, Javon? You serving your own lust. We can no longer move like that, bro. What we showing you, we was once on that side doing the same thing. Read on. And pleasures. And what? And pleasures. And pleasures. But now, watch what we got to do, Jawan. 1 Kings chapter 8 and verse 46. Because believe it, hold up. Before you get that, Deuteronomy 32 and verse 39. What I want to show you, bro, what do you think God would do for us that we break his commandments? What do you think the Lord is going to do? Right. And we continue to break his commandments. Because we all have broke the commandments before. So now we're striving for that perfection. Keeping God's commandments to the best of our ability. Putting away the excuses. Because guess what? When you look at our community, Jawan, right? What's going on with our people, bro? It's a mess. Guess what? Guess who the Lord waiting on to stand up? You. That's right. The men. Not the, the men first. Right. We got to take that step, bro, because guess what? Our people don't have no leaders. They don't have no examples to look up to. Read what you got. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 39. Watch what God say, because believe it or not, we've been taught that like he, like the so-called pastor say, no matter what you do, God love you anyway. All the pastors teach that in the church. Right. But guess what? That's a lie, bro. That's right. Because guess what? We understood that we came over here on cargo slave ships. And we know what happened to us in slavery. Right? Read what you got. The book of Sirach, chapter 15 and verse 13. The Lord hateth all abominations. Lord, what? The Lord hateth all abominations. So what the hell are he talking about? God love you no matter what. That's a lie, bro. That's why we out here showing you, giving you the warning from God. Read what you got. Deuteronomy, chapter 32 and verse 13. Watch this, Jawan. Watch this, what God say. Read on. Seeing now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. We the only people that got a true God, bro. Right. right. He's not the God of everybody. Teach. Everybody not supposed to have this book, believe it or not, bro. This book was written to our ancestors. Right? For us to learn it. Read on. Watch this, bro. I kill. God said he do what? I kill. No, the devil kill. I kill. So a lot of times when you see, guess what? 
That straight bullet hit that brother for you. Damn, what he did? That's God bringing judgment, bro. Right. right. That's why we showing you the importance. Why we got to put down excuses, bro, and keep God's commandments. God say he do what? I kill. God say he do what? I kill. We don't. And I make a love. I wound. God say he do what? I wound. And I heal. And he do what? And I heal. Guess what, bro? Deuteronomy 30 and verse 19. You know. Believe it or not, right? You cause like you said earlier to the officer, right? If I if I throw this light away, I got 10 more in my car. But guess what? You're not doing it for us, bro. Because man can tell man anything, but guess what you do? In the spirit world, I'm gonna show you what's going on right now. It's no coincidence. That the Lord brought you up here to hear his word, bro. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. Watch this, bro. Deuteronomy. Now remember, you're not doing it for us, bro. I'm going to show you what's going on in the spirit world. Read what you got. Deuteronomy chapter 30 and verse 19. I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. No, I say what? I call heaven and earth to record this day against you. The Lord sitting back looking on this throne. You know what? My prophet showing him the word. This is the warning right now. Read on. I have set before you life and death. The Lord did what? Set before you life and death. God forbid, bro. You ride off. You ride off from here. You know what? I'm finna go fire up. You go in the hole. Guess what? Drive by. God forbid. But what we got? What we showing you, bro? The seriousness of us keeping God's commandments, bro. The Lord is not playing with us in these last days, bro. One more, Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. Because guess what, bro? The Lord is waiting on the men to stand up. Right. right. Our people need examples, need leaders, bro. Read what you got. Proverbs chapter 8 and verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call. The Lord said what? O men, I call. He's calling the so-called black man. Wake the hell up. Right. You're not a black man. Right. You're not an African-American. Oh, Keep you. my commandments and live. Oh, read on, read that again. Verse 4. Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is it to the sons of men. Guess what, Jerron? Believe it or not, bro, you are a son of God, bro. Right. right. You are God on this earth, bro, but we think that, you know what? In America, they say the black man is three-fifths of a man. Guess what? That's a lie, bro. Right. God is waking his, waking his people up in these last days. We no longer, we not no damn African American. We not no Haitian. We not no Jamaican. We are the sons of the one and true living God, bro. Hey. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.